Hello and welcome back to another episode in the Let's Play world, episode number 19, which is crazy. We got Bobby hanging out here. Uh, next episode is episode number 20. Craziness. Um, I did add a little map here between episodes of the area. We got the temple on display. Oh, where'd he go? <laughs> we got uh, Bobby, the disappearing camel over here. There he is. Uh, so in the last video, we worked on the trim uh, display area. If we go off around here and we climb up the temple, uh, there is a room just up here. And this is where we've got all of our trims on display. We're still missing a lot. We've got seven so far. We've got to work on getting these other ones. But today we're going to be starting something new, hopefully, is the plan. Um, So... Yeah, let's go back home, and I need to go get some stuff. Yeah, I'm doing a little bit of resource gathering, mostly mud and bamboo. Uh, we've got some more mud in here, but I shouldn't need all of that, and I've got these bamboo... Uh, blocks of bamboo here. Need to take the melons that I have, only 18, but that is fine. Some other things, like torch flowers, I'll take a stack of those, and we've got some pots in here, I'll take those. Go down here, and I'm gonna take some of my bone meal. There's not gonna be a lot in there, but I will take all that is being made. And I think we are ready to go now. So yeah, we're gonna be starting something new today, a totally new area. We have cherry trails that we just came from. If I follow this path down here, we will eventually make it to the temple that we made as well. Somewhere in the middle, uh, like just when we get into the jungle, where the t the, uh, the temple is, uh, just before we get to that, I want to build like a new out-of-the-way village. Okay, we're going to break off from this path, and we're going to go deeper into the jungle, and we're going to build a, a new bamboo-themed uh, village. And I'm going to have a bunch of farms there, um, important farms for the future, like uh, bamboo farms so we can get more of these blocks so we can build with. I also want to make a melon farm um, and a pumpkin farm over there. We're going to have buildings in the new area for all of these new things. So there is the jungle temple that we found a while ago. If I keep going that way, maybe 200 blocks that way, I will make it to the temple. If I go a little bit that way, like 20 blocks over there is the uh, trail ruins we found a while ago. So I want to break off from this path down here. We're going to go all the way down here. And I found a nice, like, kind of flat-ish area. Yeah, here it is. I found it. Uh, so this is the location of our new build. It's not going to be a place that we hang out at too terribly much. I mostly just come here to get resources and stuff. Uh, from the farms we're going to make. Let's grab our... Axe. I'm gonna have to put down some chests and uh, drop some stuff off because I need to clear out some space. Get rid of a bunch of these trees. So this is very much temporary. I'm just gonna be farming up some melons as we build what we're building right now. Because uh, I need some for decoration. So I will break all of that when we're done. <laughs> Uh, but today we're gonna build it's gonna look really bad to start out. Okay, you're gonna have to bear with me for sure um, It's gonna start out looking awful <laughs> But we're gonna take uh, blocks of bamboo and around about here We're gonna go and put down some of these and we're gonna build a structure to eventually house a, a melon farm so about that long and it's gonna be uh, five blocks wide. So it's gonna be like a village looking house almost. We'll have a door right here. And this will go all the way down. Gonna use a ton of the different bamboo things. We're gonna strip some of these. We're gonna uh, use some of the blocks like this as well. Use some of the mosaic blocks. And next we're gonna bring this up by three extra blocks. So it is four blocks going around total. And like I said, this can look really bad, okay? This is. <laughs> <laughs> I promise when it's done, we will have something that looks kind of, sort of, maybe good. There we go, and now we're gonna strip some of this. Um, not all of it, mostly, uh, like, the top part. We're gonna strip a lot of the top, and we're gonna leave just, like, little bits along the bottom. 
of this thing. Uh, so something like that, maybe. We go around here and we strip some of this. It's like that. Man, I brought my Fortune X. I didn't take my Silk Touch one. So when I'm breaking the melons here, we're getting the, the melon slices and we're not getting as much to make the blocks back. So that kind of sucks. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm gonna have to head back anyway because yeah, I need to get a, a stone cutter for my mud bricks because I need to make some stairs. So we'll go back and just grab my, grab my Silk Touch X really quick. That is a stone cutter for me to take, and my axe is a uh, pure. We'll swap that out with my fortune one. Cool. So now, when these melons grow, we can go and silk touch them up, and it just makes my life a little bit easier. Uh, we're gonna go back to working on this house now, though. I'm gonna put a mud brick wall on either corner right here. And I'm gonna break that, I don't want it to connect. Uh, and then we'll build up two blocks with bamboo fences. I've been really excited to use bamboo fences. Um, I really like the way the top looks. Like right, that part right there. I really like it. Um, so we're gonna do two blocks of bamboo fences. Like that, on top of the, on top of the wall. And then we'll pillar back up, and on top of the fence, we're gonna add a mud brick stair. Go over here and do a mud brick stair. We'll just do the front for now. Uh, we'll do two slabs, two slabs, and then we'll kind of just go up like this until things meet up, like so. And that is gonna be the shape of the front. And then we'll connect both of these up with stairs, just like so. And I wanna make a shelter here which is gonna have a ton of melons under it. Uh, so we'll go four blocks from here. One, two, three, four. And we will do that all the way down here. And this will come out, let's do three blocks, just like that. And then we'll grab uh, our uh, walls here, right below here, we'll do that. And we'll do a couple of these, go over here. And one, two, and that, don't want it to connect. And again, we're gonna do the same on the other side. We're gonna link that up and go one, two, three. Do that all the way down here until it's four blocks away. Add in a little bit of detail to the roof. Uh, the side bits here. So we'll do something like that, maybe. And then continuing on with the roof, we've got this massive hole in the middle. Let's try and cover this up. We'll put some bamboo slabs on either side, just like so, and we'll take out some bits then. So maybe like right here, take out that one, take out two of these, take out like uh, that one, and we will replace those with some blocks of bamboo that are not stripped, like that. So go over here, we'll do the same thing, we'll take out maybe these two, take out that one and that one, add in some blocks of bamboo, just to make the roof look a little bit rough, uh, we're gonna do that. And then we'll go up, fill that. Actually, we're gonna do solid block right there. Just like so. And then we'll drag this all the way down. And again, we're gonna take out little patches and add in some of the green blocks of bamboo just to make it look nice and rough. I've seen a lot of people in the Minecraft community just avoid this stuff a little bit versus the uh, the cherry wood like the cherry woods easily just taken over the community right uh, versus this stuff as I'm really determined to do something myself here with it and not let myself was I've already got taken over by the cherry wood let's be honest <laughs> I, uh, I have a whole town back there it's just cherry stuff everywhere but yeah I wanna I do want to do something with um let's grab some more stairs here I do want to do something with the bamboo. I think it is a block I was excited for. Um, they didn't do a very good job at like promoting it, right? When they first showed it, they kind of showed a house that was just entirely bamboo. Um, and a lot of people were looking at the house and they like, that was a gross house. <laughs> they judged the bamboo block just off the, that house, I think, when they announced it. Uh, yeah, so I've got some little uh, stairs right there. I'm building like a tower 
right here. We'll have flower pots on top of these stairs. Uh, let's go up one more block like that. We'll do a slab on either end, just like so. And in the middle, we'll do a uh, stair, just like that. If I do it like this, is that going to place it how I want to place it? No, it's not. Okay, so we break that. And we're gonna have to face this way. There we go. Whoops, not like that. I'll grab that block in a minute. Place it like that. Place this one like that. And you're not gonna be able to get up here. It's gonna look like you can, but uh, there's gonna be some melons up here. Do two walls right there. Two walls right here. Some bamboo fences. Bamboo fences. And these are gonna go up again. Two blocks. One, uh, two, one, two. We're gonna have one of those pointy kind of roofs. Uh, being held up by these things. So let's get the melons in here. We're gonna do something like something like that. Just a pile of melons on top. And then we'll put a temporary block so I can get up here. Make a few more mud brick stairs with my stone cutter. And we're just gonna connect these posts up with stairs. So we'll do that and temporary block on this side go across three blocks here uh one two three and take out that temporary block add in another over here and a stair one two three so we have a three by three hole in the middle is what we're going for and then finally the middle part will be slab right here with a bamboo block and a slab. Bamboo block, slab, and just like that. Then this will go, um, let's do that. Grab our walls, mud brick wall, and a bamboo fence on top. Break that, and that is how the top is going to be. Very simple. And then we'll mix in some more of these bamboo blocks. It's a little bit more green. Temporary block, few of those around the um the tower here oh and another thing i'm gonna do as well is add in some slabs here so it's not looking so flat when we're looking up at it cool cool so there is the tower mostly done um i do have some flowers i want to add in as well but we're gonna do that a little bit later when we've got some more of it built but that is the shape of the place done still a bit to do <laughs> But I kind of, I kind of like the shape. I think it looks kind of wacky. Uh, once we get more of the details in, it'll fill out and it won't look so weird. It still looks a little bit weird. Uh, but let's get to doing some of these details. I've got bamboo stairs. Let's take that out and we'll do a stair right there. One of my favorite new things in this update is the bamboo trapdoors. I talked about like in the fences, but the trapdoors, I really, really like them. I will add a flower pot on top of that too, and a flower inside, but yeah, I really like these trapdoors. I think they're really, really cool. Definitely my new favorite trapdoors. Uh, but we'll do that with those. You know, I should have made this melon patch a little bit bigger because I am not getting enough of this stuff. I've got 11 of these things. And I need so, so many of them. Uh, but we're gonna go around and put in some bits of melon. Maybe one here, one here. And we'll do some trap doors around those. Uh, there's gonna be a ton of melons around here. Only f a few of them will have uh, trap doors around them. And the ones that have trap doors will also have flower pots and flowers on top. Uh, let's go around here and we'll do maybe a couple around here. I'm gonna have to get some more trap doors. Two of these on top, and then we will pile up the side here with a bunch of melons. But yeah, I'm gonna need to get more. There we have our floor all mostly done. Uh, I'm gonna add some grass back on top of here, and I'm gonna bone meal. Uh, around the edges as well, because it's looking kind of flat right now. Put all of these in. Uh, I did make a bamboo door too. Um, let's see, let's put that right here. And yeah, I think... Can you get out of the way, please? <laughs> I'm trying to look at what I just did. And you are being very rude. 
Uh, yeah, we'll get loads of the grass in. He's gone. There we go. I really like those doors, too. I love the window. That's pretty cool. Uh, okay. Nice. Let's grab our, uh, bone meal, and we'll bone meal around here. I did get rid of... Oh, no, I didn't get rid of it. I started to get rid of it. We're gonna throw down dirt right there. We got rid of the melon patch. Uh, once that spreads over some more grass, I'll bone meal around here, too. So that is back to normal, but yeah, looking pretty flat over here. Add some of that. Maybe we'll add some, uh, some taller bits around as well. Get some of these bone meals. Nice, cool. So, uh, that's what we've got for the, the floor. And then, as it goes off down that way, uh, it'll just be a regular old, regular old grass path connecting up to the other one. Which I think we will do right now. Let's get this all linked up nicely. There we go. All linked up. I got the grass all bone milled over here now too. Uh, so I know we could just tie Bobby up to one of these posts when we come over. But I'm gonna break... Uh, try not to hurt Bobby. <laughs> I'm gonna break that and we will tie him up. I'm gonna do just like some fences right here. And that will be where we can go and tie up Bobby when we come over. Nice. Uh, I will work on moving this stuff back home. I will do that a little bit later to get this chest out of the way. So we have our build done. Obviously, like I said, there's gonna be more around here. This is just one of three uh, houses I have planned. Uh, we go inside here and we're gonna have a chunky sized melon farm. We're gonna dig down. We have a staircase right here, and it will lead us down to... I'm gonna break that, that uh, bed for a minute. It will take us down to where the farm is gonna go. And we're gonna have to dig out a fairly decently sized room as well to be able to do that. I feel like I'm gonna want to make this room a little bit bigger, but for now, that is a good start. Uh, so I'm gonna do a... Bamboo staircase going up, and I don't think we're gonna do the farm today. I think we'll work on making farms in the next episode. I just mainly wanted to get the build up and going uh, up top for now, and I want to make some progress towards going to the end. Uh, so I've been putting off going to the end, okay? <laughs> Mostly because of this guy right here. I'm having fun right now, uh, traveling around on Bobby, and I feel like the moment I get an elytra, I'm gonna be using Bobby a little bit less. So, yeah, I've been trying to put it off as long as I could, but... Yeah, I kinda wanna get shulker boxes, like, this is a problem. Leaving chests around, like, I'm taking it all back. Uh, once I've finished in areas, but it would be nice to just have shulker boxes to be able to transport things around. Uh, so that is the main reason why I want to... progress a little bit towards the end. Um, so we're gonna leave this place, and I guess I can show you the path. It's very basic, but it goes off down here, and it's like a hundred blocks, maybe, to the main path right there, and it links up right where the, um, the jungle temple is. So I've not found a never fortress yet, and that is what we're gonna do to try to progress next. Uh, we're gonna need a never fortress to get blaze, so we can make Eyes of Ender, uh, so that we can get to the Ender Dragon. I have no idea where the end portal is, and obviously we're gonna need Eyes of Ender to open up the portal. So I'm gonna head back home and gear up for a Never Adventure. I think I'm ready to go. I've got all of the Never Rack that I had, which isn't very much. I can gather some more though. I got my Golden Helmet, so the Piggos won't attack me. Got some Ender Pearls if I need those. And I topped up my food, so I am ready to go. Let's go through and see what we can find. Gonna spend a little bit of time just wandering around. Um, if we could find a warp forest too, that would be lovely. Uh, that spawn is kind of scary. <laughs> I remember I, I spawned in here. I was like, oh, it's not a bad spawn. It's, it's a pretty bad spawn. Um, but yeah, we're gonna walk off this way and just... Keep walking, see what we can find. If we can find a warped forest, then I might kill some Endermen. As well, just so we have the pearls ready. Uh, oh, actually, there's a warped forest right there. <laughs> I just seen some blue. Nice. Okay, so we can get the Ender Pearls here. 
Nice, got that all sorted. We have 28 of those. Get my helmet back on and we're gonna keep on walking, see what we can find. Shouldn't take us too long, right? We should be fine too. We got pretty good armor here, pretty good swords. Um, I did forget my bow now that I'm in the open. Um, I did forget that we should have brought a bow. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's just wander around, see what we can find. That, oh, that doesn't look safe. Oh, this is scary. Pillaring over a bunch of lava. I can hear guests as well. Okay. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there we go. Got him. Oh, wait. There's one. That took a while to find. Not gonna lie. It wasn't so much a while. It's gonna be awkward to get back. <laughs> Like, the never is so all over the place that, like, 200 blocks in the never can feel something like a thousand blocks, right? Just because all the pillaring around and digging around and the mobs. Uh, but yeah, here is a fortress. I'm going to just pill up to this one. And uh, all we need to do is... Oh, we could maybe get a trim here too, right? There's a trim we can get here. Uh, whoop, let's uh, go down. And there is some blaze. Yeah, maybe we can get that trim. That would be cool. It's called rib, I believe. Uh, my inventory is a mess. Throw that out. Get some blaze. Maybe get that trim. And is there anything else we need here? I don't know. Some uh, some wither, ske wither skeleton heads would be nice, but I'm not in a super rush to fight the wither yet. Take him out. And here's our first chest. No, nothing in there. I'm gonna take that gold. Sure. Uh, throw that in here. Oh, a never ward too. Almost forgot we should take some of this for potions. Does not look like there is a lot of chests in this one. I found maybe three chests. And yeah, no rib. Armor trim yet. It looks like that might be the last room, actually, which is fine. I didn't come here for that anyway, but it really would have been nice to find it. <laughs> uh oh. To go in or not to go in? <laughs> On one hand, there is the Neverride upgrade template inside these bastions. On the other hand, there is death. And yeah, I really don't want to die right now. Uh, I don't know exactly where I'm at. Like, I, I know I'm going in the right direction to be going home. But if I died and lost all of my stuff here, I would be pretty upset. But if I left and there was a template in here, I would never know about it, but... <laughs> uh... I might, I might dip my toes in, we'll see. Dip my toes in, see if we can find a couple chests. There's a chest right there. Got some gold, cool, cool. Not interested in that other stuff though. There's a few chests, we got a, oh, a Neverite scrap. That is our first piece of Neverite. Oh, there's an iron block in there too. And this one, a diamond pickaxe, what? I didn't know you could find. Diamond tools in here? Or did I? <laughs> I feel like it's been ages since I've looted one of these things. Got some golden carrots too. I will take those. Uh, I'll take all of these magma creams for potions. Throw those in there. Uh, no templates. Found another chest. Looks like that guy over there is stuck. Got another pickaxe, I will take it. Nothing bad. <laughs> uh, got some more golden cards, I'll take those. Nothing else though. Man, these things are kind of scary, not gonna lie. I like that they, uh, they've they added the, the template here now though, the never upgrade, that, so it forces us to go here if we want to get those. I think that's a pretty cool thing. Before there was um there was stuff here. But oh, there's a brute. It's coming for me. 
There we go. I don't think knockback works so bad on, uh... Oh no, I don't have a knockback sword. What am I talking about? Uh, there is a... Whoop! Oh no, 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 no! No! <laughs> Oh no, that was bad. Oh, I got knocked off. I knew I shouldn't have done it. I knew it. All right, so I went and had a quick five minute break to chill out. <laughs> and uh, I am back now. Uh, so that was definitely the worst death we've had. But if you really think about it, I was sitting there thinking and it's not, it's not a big deal, right? Because I have loads of diamonds. I've got the armorers, I've got the villagers, like, we, we can get all of that stuff back. Uh, the biggest thing that sucks to lose is the blaze, because we have to go back and get more of that now. And I was collecting the little bit of quartz and the ender pearls, and that is the things that suck. Like, the gear is not a big deal. I think I even have some bits here. Yeah, we have a pickaxe here and a axe that I, I didn't have on me. Um, I am 99.9% .9 sure that everything is gone. Um, except maybe that Neverite scrap that we found. <laughs> uh, that's probably still fl floating in the lava somewhere. Uh, but we've got some work to do. We gotta gear up. I will work on that, but for now it is time for the comment question of the day. This one is from... Uh, Bluesverse, is that how you say that? It says, do you like Guardians of the Galaxy? I think in episode 14, when you open the door, you refer to this movie. Uh, yes, I do love Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm a big fan of Marvel, big fan of DC as well. Just like all of the nerdy stuff. I did finish all of these bookshelves now. In the next episode, we're moving on to this row of bookshelves, which is exciting. <laughs> um, but yes, big Guardians of the Galaxy fan. Um, no to the reference though. Honestly, I'm forgetting what reference you are meaning. Um, I can't think of what this would be referencing. I feel like I'm forgetting something that I shouldn't be forgetting about. <laughs> um, so yes, yes to the fan of, of Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, no to the reference though, I wasn't referencing the movie. Um, that would have been smart, I wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I am sadly just about out of time for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys had fun, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.